I'm on a off-road journey into the Sonoran Desert. It's called the Cochrane Road and it leaves the Florence Calvin Highway and it travels through the desert all the way to the old town site of Cochrane, which had about 10 residents back around the turn of the century. But it is located on the Gila River, so that's kind of exciting because the Gila River could, uh, could and should maybe have water in it right now. So I'm gonna attempt to make it down to the Gila River. Maybe I'll camp there tonight if, it's, if it looks like a good spot and there's no one else around. It's December, it's really beautiful out here. As you can see, the sun is shining. I've got my four wheel drive van, but I don't think I'll be needing that today. From what I understand, it's not a particularly hard road, but we are gonna get out into the back country and we're gonna camp out tonight in the desert. This is like really rugged, raw, Sonoran desert. Just a sandy road going through the desert, saguaro cactus, different trees, there's mountain cliffs off in the distance. So this is the real deal. This is really cool. And it's really exciting to find these kind of places when I'm just out poking around and, and exploring. And because I have the time, I'm able to get out here really deep into the desert and experience this, this beautiful location. And I have everything that I need in the van. I'm fully set up to be able to camp out here tonight. It's happy hour here in the desert, and I've got my seat for the main show coming up in about an hour and a half or so. And I feel pretty good that I actually got into a place to camp well before sundown, and I'm having some afternoon hors d'oeuvres. We've got some really good goat cheese with cranberries and oranges, and some asparagus, olives, a little bit of salami, and a baguette. And we're having a, a Barrio Blonde Ale today out of Tucson. It's going to be a beautiful evening out here in the Sonoran Desert. This is exactly what I've been looking for for a while. I haven't been able to get out and camp and film and do a project like this in the van for a little while. It's been a, it's been a bit. But today that changed. So you know, that's what I love about this kind of travel is that you can meander and you can find really cool spots like this up on this hilltop just looking out at the desert sun's going to be going down in a while there's mountain ranges off in the distance it's going to be a really cool night out here Well, this is truly a magical place to be right now at this exact moment, right when the, the sun is just about to go down behind the hills and the light is golden and beautiful. And there's just an absolute stillness in the air out here. It's so quiet, all I can hear is the rippling of my awning and the chirping of a few birds in the background. I'm gonna get, get a fire built here in a couple minutes. We'll get the lantern turned on and we'll see what the rest of the night brings.
Well, this isn't so bad. This is gonna be home for the night. My comfy, cozy van out here in the middle of nowhere. I've got my bed, sleeping bag, my oil lamp. Got the batteries charging for tomorrow so I can get some more drone shots. Got a refrigerator full of all kinds of goodness. And it's, uh, it's pretty good, I gotta admit. It's definitely not motorcycle camping, that's for sure. And that's the, uh, that's the special thing about it, is that it's different, it's comfortable, but it's not a hotel or a motel. It's just me out here in the back country in my van, comfortable, cozy. I've got the coals getting just about ready to throw the steak onto them. So that's gonna be dinner tonight. And other than that, just chilling out here in the Sonoran Desert. I just watched the sun go down. There's nobody else out here. It's peaceful and quiet. Just a little breeze. It's pretty warm. I'm wearing a jacket, but I actually don't even really need to be wearing a jacket right now. So it does get cold here at night in the desert, but I am going to be plenty warm inside here. And I'll wake up early with the sunrise and then head out of here in the morning. We're gonna have some steak, I got a ribeye, and some mushrooms, a little bit of olive oil, and some salt and pepper. I might even throw some red wine in there. There wasn't a campfire ring already in this location, so that's why I'm cooking in my little um, metal campfire thing that I got here. I carry it in the van for situations like this when, when I don't wanna leave any trace of a campfire. So anyways, the steak is just about done. Mushrooms are just about done. I might throw a little bit of red wine in here. I've got some garlic to go along with it. And that's about it. It's almost dinner time. Oh yeah. It does look like this is a somewhat well-traveled area. I see a lot of tire tracks out here, so I know that people do come out here in their 4x4 vehicles or their quads or side-by-sides, things like that. And I would say that this road is generally a fairly easy road, although I would recommend that you have a high clearance vehicle and all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive because there are some sandy sections. They weren't too bad for me. I didn't have to put my van in four wheel drive. The sand is pretty compacted right now, but at different times of the year that could change. If you're on an adventure motorcycle, the same thing. Just be prepared for some sand. Other than that, the road is pretty easy to travel on. It's not too steep. There's not a lot of loose rocks or any rock gardens or things like that. You just have to pay attention and be prepared for a little bit of sand. I saw a lot of campsites along the way and I marked a few of those on my map. I'll share my map my track and some of the waypoints that I made on my website there will be a link in the description to this video but if you're looking for a chance to get out in the desert do a little poking around and maybe find yourself a beautiful campsite this is a really good area to do that 
this is just too cool out here. I had no idea that I was going to make it down to the Gila River today. But that's where I'm at. The river is just right through these trees over here. Unfortunately, it was a little too tight and overgrown to make it in there with the van. I have such high clearance on this van with my roof rack and solar panel and shower, awning, all those kind of things. And I didn't want to get them damaged. And it was really scraping the branches up there. So, so this is a cool spot. I never really, really knew about this place. And I think it would be really cool to come back here on my motorcycle. Ooh. I've got a lot of things up here that I don't want to get damaged, like my solar panel, my awning, my shower. Oh man, I'm real close to the river, but this is tight. And this one here is absolutely too low. My van roof would absolutely hit that one. I could potentially cut it down, but there's more up in front of me that I'm also a little concerned with and I don't want to damage my solar panel but this is what it looks like through this last little bit it's so dense and overgrown here because we're down by the river it gets uh you know it gets moisture it gets water down here and the road is even a little bit muddy and right here you can actually see the Gila River and it's flowing pretty nicely I tell you what, if I could actually get down to the river here, this would be a nice place to camp. Wow. The river is flowing really well right now. There's the van, as you can see. She's pretty tall. I don't really want to get into cutting down trees and brush and all that, so I'm just going to turn around. Wow, we're almost out of the trees. We've got a couple more branches. And there's a railroad track here, an old rail line, way out here in the middle of nowhere. Wonder if I have to look for trains. you've had as good a time as I've had out here exploring the Sonoran Desert in Arizona. This is the kind of thing that can happen if you're prepared and you have the time to be able to get out and explore. So that's it. But I hope you've really enjoyed this this camp out in the Sonoran Desert with me. I had a really good time and go to my website for all of the information on this particular journey. Maybe you can do it yourself.